Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, good afternoon, and good evening to you. Good evening, and then I would like to present this paper. The title is Isolation of Dark Septa Endophyte or DSC from Fern, the Tris Fitata Holds. This is uh, our authors, me and all my students and my colleagues from other university and Prof. Hisham Ishashi and Daniel Zui Dailin from UTN University Technology, Malaysia. This is the baseline for our microchip research in Universitas Negeri Jakarta Culture Collection. As we know, dark septa endophyte is a, are a group of ascomycetes that live in intracellular and extracellular root tissue. This microbe can facilitate growth of the plant and stress tolerance in extreme environmental. However, little is known about the DSA fully isolated from certain levels such as Peteris spitata, especially in under dirt condition. Peteris spitata is known for its ability to live in various types of substrate and ecosystem. The very a lot of type of uh, DSA, DSA can live in a part of intracellular and extracellular of this plant. It can live in roots, in the leaves or the other part of the plant. As we know, Peteris petata or friend will also have many potential, including the use for the chemistry as uh, antibacterial drugs, malaria drugs, bleeding stop drug, skin disease, and anti inflammatory A research about isolation that set and the fight from this friend is very rare. And the main project of this research is isolation and some of the identification of dark septa endophyte from a part of root of Peteris fitata root. And this is the result metal, the sampling and Doing the root surface sterilization, isolation of the SA, and identification, microscopic and microscopic observation. Dark septa endophyte. Dark septa endophyte living symbiosis relative with the pan. They live together in intracellular and extra or extracellular part of the leaf plant roots. They get this microbe help to the plant for possible to make for to absorb the nutrient. They can better grow and more efficient nutrient absorption with this micro with the SA in a, in inside of the a part of this plant. Various uh, DSA can be collected from the several of the host. For example, for the result and discussion in this result, we're doing uh, collecting 
the dark septa in the five. Before we obtain the dark septa in the five, with isolation from the room, with the uh, sterilization, surface sterilization. Of the surface sterilization, a part of the root for the pteris, for the fern, we put this uh, a part of the root to the media. We use the potato dextrosa agar and incubate it in a boat in the dark. That's the difference between the isolation dark septa endophyte and with the others micro. Why? Because the dark septa endoph the dark septa endophyte, or we call it the SA, has specifically morphological colony. For example, they have the characteristic. What is the characteristic? According uh, the literature, the 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 hifa of the DSA, the they have helin or dark in colors, and they have melanin, pigment of melanin from this hifa. And for to uh, to, uh, to obtain this uh, microbe, we have to grow in a box with a dark. Usually, they very slow grow. We can get the HIFA using the stereo microscope. Day after day, we observe. It's almost five until seven days in 27 degree. During the seven day from observation, we looking for the HIFA. We move to another media. After we observe using the stereo microscope, each day with, with observation. After that, if we found the HIFA, we collect we move to another media, a new media of PDA. And then we observation and we identification for the microscopic and microscopic of the colony. In our research, during seven days of observation, we saw in the first day, the hifa that grow are a thin and slightly dark in a colors the root the, the root surface. On the first day, we have almost thirteen micro for the dark septa endophyte. But this is very difficult to isolation the dark septa endophyte. In our research, we just have three isolates so that they grow in a new PDA medium. Just three of isolates, PP2, PP4A, PP4B. This three of this isolate can be grow very well in a new media after we moving from the first media. This is the macroscopic colony of the receptor endophyte. The, this is all at PP2 after 50, 15 days incubation, they have a morphology of colony. The PP2 has wine root colony with like brown mycelium at the edge. 
the texture of the colony is felty, having growing zone like extruded rope, and the behind colonies is cool. The microscopic observation, they has septahyphen with conidiophore, the spore and insect containing four or five spores are red, this in colors. It look like this is as school by CTS. And for PP, for P, they have very specific needs of dark septa in the five. PP for P has a bronze colony colors with light brown mycelium and around the edge. The texture of the colony is well healthy, has a growing zone, has extruded through, and this reverse colors of the colony black with white from the edge. From the microscopic observation, they have septa and the pigment of insecta. And this is for PP4A. The PP4A have brown colonies from the center edge of the colony. The texture colony is felty as a growing zone. No extruded group and the reverse colony is black with brown. With the radiance with age from the Microsoft observation, they have they have septa in the heaven and the pigment, the black melanin pigment for the septa. So this is the conclusion for the baseline of observation for identification. After this, we have to identification, not just this one, we have to make sure what kind the species of this one. We can use molecular identification. We can use based on conventional identification, such as microscopic and microscopic observation. After this, we continue in our team to identification with molecular identification with ITS region. And we found this one, Culfuria geniculata, Culfuria phallax, Porsporealis, Bersioca spectabilis. But we will continue to identification and found what is the potential of this dark septa endophyte. And this is the conclusion. Only 23.7% we found the dark septa endophyte. It is very difficult to find dark septa endophyte. Because why? Because they are very depending to the host of the plant. So we have to know what is the exactly media for identification about the dark septa endophyte. And this is the, the end, the conclusion. The characteristic include having septa for the heaving and brownish to black colors and having growing zone and velvety texture. This is my co team. This is my team, our team in microbiology laboratory, Universitas Negeri Jakarta. All of my students doing all of this research. And thank you for very much to Hibah Competitive International Universitas Negeri Jakarta, who supporting in our research with the title is Dark Septa Endophyte is Potential as Immunity Agent for Health. Thank you for Universitas Negeri Jakarta Putur Collection for the facility to provide 
all of the Israelites. Thank you very much.